Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing well today. Today's tutorial shall be a so along tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be making a turtleneck top using the layer turtleneck pattern from Don Larry. To get this pattern there will be a link down in the description box and if you are new to this channel you are welcome here on this channel i share sewing tutorials pattern drafting and diys consider subscribing and also remember to put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified all right guys so let's get into it okay guys so once you've printed out and you've assembled your pattern pieces following the printing instruction in the package you will have four pieces like this. You will have the front bodies, the back bodies, the sleeve, and the neck band. So these are the four pieces that you will have. And then let's move on to the cutting table. So one, when you are shopping for the fabric, make sure that you shop for stretchy fabric. All this information, you will find it in the uh, instruction that came with the pattern. So now we're going to start cutting. So the first thing you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two like this. So fold it into two and then you place your pattern pieces on it. So you can see the arrow that indicate cut on fold at the center front. So that is where you are going to place on the folded part of the fabric. And this pattern doesn't have any seam allowance added already. So you are going to be adding half an inch seam allowance to the neckline, to the shoulder seam, to the arm side, to the side seam and then to the m line you're going to add more allowance because you will need to fold that twice and uh, when you are finishing the top so you have you can add between um three quarter inch to one inch seam allowance to the m line then you go ahead and cut out your front piece So this is what we have for the front piece and then you're going to repeat the same process to cut out the back piece and remember that the back also should be cut on fold so here i'm placing the back on a folded fabric and then i'll go ahead and add the seam allowance and cut it out exactly the same thing we did to the front so now we're going to cut out the sleeve and you're going to be needing two pieces for the sleeve all this information are on the pattern pieces so go ahead and add your seam allowance to the sleeve and cut it out so this is what the sleeve looks like now you're going to transfer the notches to the fabric so that's the notch there and here you have two notches here and then you do the same thing on the body. So now we want to cut out the neck band and then we are going to be cutting out one piece for the neck band and seam allowance has been added to the neck band. So you don't need to add any seam allowance. So make sure that your fabric stretches cross wisely and then we have two arrow on the neck band that indicates cotton fold so let's do the first one so the first one fold your fabric into two like this so that's the fo one folded part so now to achieve the second uh, cotton fold folded part so i'm going ahead here to cut the fabric a little bit then you can see the way i folded it back so now I have two folded end. So I need to add it a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. So here I have two folded end, as you can see it. And then I'm going to cut out exactly what I have on the neck band. I'm not going to add any seam allowance because seam allowance has been added to the neck band. So you don't need to add any seam allowance. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So I've cut out the neck band. 
And once you open, open it up, you're going to have a, a, a kind of rectangular shape. Can you see that? So that's the neck band. And then we're going to set this aside and start assembling our pattern. Okay, we've cut out the four pieces, the front, the back, the sleeve, and the neck band. So now is the time to assemble the fabric and then we move on to the sewing machine. So we're going to place the both the front and the back together, right side facing each other, and then you pin it down. So can you see the way I pin the shoulder seam? So the first thing to sew is the shoulder seam. So we're going to sew the shoulder seam. So I went ahead to overlock and once you've done that, this is what it will look like. So now we're going to set that aside and work on the neck band. So you fold your neck band into two like this. And then you pin it down. And then where you pin down, you're going to stitch it down. So at the other hand, you have the folded end. So once you've stitched down where you pin down earlier, you're going to fold your fabric like this. So make sure that the stitch line align together. Like that. So that is what the neck band will look like once you've done that. So you can still go ahead and ensure that it stretches well so that it will be able to fit into your neck without any discomfort. So now we are going to be attaching the neck band to the bodies. So fold the, the back into two. And then across the neckline, you're going to notch it at the center back. You do the same thing. That's the notch for the center back. So you do the same thing for the front. So make sure they align at the shoulder. And then you notch the center front across the neckline as well. So can you see the, those notches? So lay that down flat on the table. And then on the band, you know, we have the stitch line. So that stitch line will fall to the, to the center back neckline. And then the other end, so you're going to place a notch to that end. And that end, you're going to fix that end to the center front. All right, so now we're going to be attaching the uh, neck band to the body. So you can see the way I'm holding the neck band. The folded end of the neck band is facing the table and the rough edges is facing up. So you pull up the bodies through this uh, tube. Yeah, and then you're going to pin down. So gently find the neck, you know, uh, the center neckline you notched earlier. So the front, we go with the folded hand and then the, the center back neck line where you notch, remember, we go with the stitch line on the neck band. And then you're going to pin the, once you've done that, then just go ahead and pin down the rest uh, together. Alright, so this is what it will look like once you've pinned it around. So now we've pinned down the neck band to the bodies and then you go to the sewing machine and stitch. So I went ahead to overlock. I don't have the best overlocker, so but I still manage to overlock the neckline. But if you don't have an overlocker, that is absolutely fine. So this is what it looks like on the right side. Can you see how neat and pretty it is? yeah so that's what we have so once you've done this now the next thing we want to do is to attach the sleeve so to the sleeve now you're going to fold the m line of the sleeve and then you pin it down so once you've done pinning down then go to your sewing machine and stitch and make sure you are not pulling it when you are stitching it together so this is what we have. This is what the M line looks like. So now we're going to be attaching the sleeve to the bodies using the flat method. And before we do that, we're going to notch the, the center line of the sleeve if you are yet to do that already. So 
and that center line will fall on the shoulder seam line. Can you see the notch on the sleeve? So you ensure that you're placing the right side of the sleeve on the right side of the body. So the right side of the body is facing up now. So you place the right side of the sleeve on it and then you make sure you align the, the center line of the sleeve. You just notch to the, same, to the shoulder slim line. And then also the notches you have on your pattern, which you transferred earlier on the sleeve and the bodies, make sure they are lined together and pin it down. So we're going to be attaching the sleeve using the flat method. So once you've pinned it round, you're going to stitch it together. And once you've done stitching, this is what it will look like. Can you see that? And then last thing we're going to do, no, not the last thing yet. <laughs> so you just pin down the uh, sleeve through to the bodies and then we're going to stitch it in a go. And then once you've done that, the last thing we're going to do is to finish the M line. So pin down the M line and then you go to your sewing machine and stitch it round. All right, guys. So we've come to the end of this tutorial. This is the final look. I also made it with another fabric in another color. So you can see how beautiful it is. So that is me posing here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. The pattern is available on my website. I'll put the link down in the description box. Until I see you guys in another tutorial, do have a wonderful day. Bye.